people who know the secret knock are allowed in here. There are packets containing 200,000 euros in change behind the door. Department store manager N. Pavel has stored the coins in the basement in the run-up to the big day. The new euros will be needed on January 1st. The exchange rate has been fixed for years. 15.64 Estonian kroni equal 1 euro. To prepare for the switchover, Pavel has had to spend quite a lot of money. Uh, the costs are somewhere around uh, 20,000 euros. This means that uh, we have to train the people, we have to change some uh, elements in the cash registers, uh, we have to buy new detectors and pay some extra money for the uh, transportation for the euro. Prices have been displayed in both currencies, euros and krony, for months. A liter of milk here costs 82 cents, which converts to 12 krony 90. Monthly wages in Estonia are low compared to Western Europe, so that price is considered high even now. Half of all Estonians want the euro, especially young people. By contrast, older people are skeptical. I think it's bad. It'll make everything more expensive, and prices are very high as it is. Besides, there are too many coins in the new currency. It'll be hard to carry them, because they're heavier. I'm in favour. It'll bring more investment in the economy. The new currency is stable. Our krona has been pegged to the euro for years. As long as the Germans have the euro, it's a safe currency. The government in Tallinn has been a careful steward of the country's economy. All the important criteria for the introduction of the euro have been met. While the euro has been under attack by the international finance markets, the Estonian government is supporting it. The finance minister is even prepared to shoulder guarantees for Greece and the other Eurozone debtor nations. So we are ready to guarantee uh, the loans if it helps to calm down the markets and helps them to do their homework. All these countries have to consolidate their budgets and, and uh, make reforms uh, which are necessary and have been post postponed. Estonia started uh, among the quickest, I mean, probably we were the quickest to cut the budget uh, since 2008 and uh, I did most of the work uh, last year and even this year we have a consolidation of uh, 2 or 3 percent of GDP. That success has come at a price. Estonia has not invested millions in expensive economic stimulus programs. As a result, its unemployment rate stands at 18 percent. So there's little euphoria about the euro at the unemployment offices. I'm against having the euro in Estonia when I look at the current crisis surrounding it, the level of debt in Ireland, Portugal, Spain and now possibly France. What will it do for us? If we also have to pay for those countries, life here will become even more difficult. At this factory, 40 kilometers west of Tallinn, bathtubs and showers are being made. Half of the factory's workforce have lost their jobs in the past two years. The head of the company is banking on the euro to help boost export sales in the eurozone. The euro will simplify a lot of things. Accounting will become easier. We won't have to pay any more charges for currency conversion. Back in Tallinn, there's frantic activity in the National Bank these days. The old Kron notes are being taken out of circulation and shredded, leaving neat bundles of recyclable paper. <laughs> 